If you are new to our channel, we are Anna and Kelvin and we are doing a one year round the world trip. The first couple of legs of our journey has actually finished. We went through Central and South America, then we went to Africa and now we are in the Middle East. When we are finished in the Middle East, we will be flying from Jordan to Thailand, staying quite a while in Thailand and then traveling to several other different countries in Asia. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out our previous videos from Latin America, Africa and now the Middle East. So as we get ready to board our train in Jerusalem, it's just an hour later and we start to pass through the nice surroundings of Tel Aviv. And as we get through Tel Aviv, just 20 minutes later, we get to the small town where our friend lives called Herzelia. So we, we are here in, I've probably pronounced it wrong, Hudzilia, which is basically 20 minutes out of um, Tel Aviv. So a little small place and it's super modern as you can see, all modern office buildings, beautiful apartment blocks all around and like super expensive little shopping centres. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously a very, very nice town to live in. And we read on Google that it actually has uh, one of the richest populations in the whole of Israel. So, yeah, I think we're looking high end. But we're going to, it's a nice town. We're just going to walk around, wait for our friends to pick us up. And then we'll uh, hopefully go exploring around the neighborhood tonight, tomorrow or the next couple of days so when Hamu picked us up that night we went back to her place met her family and then we just had a quiet night the next morning Hamu is driving us in and showing us around Tel Aviv okay. here we have all kind of bars and pubs and everything yeah, nice. mm -hmm. yeah real trendy nice bars yeah. if you go straight here you get to the beach <laughs> So we are in Jaffa, which technically is different to Tel Aviv, but these days most people just regard it pretty much as an extension or a region within Tel Aviv. We are in Tel Aviv. Our great host Hamu have driven us in here today and she's going to show us around in Tel Aviv. And we just parked our car or her car now here right on the beach with a very nice panorama over Tel Aviv city ah, and it's a gorgeous day perfect temperature blue sky sun yeah, lovely it's clear these rocks here apparently are known as the rocks of Andromeda in the old Greek mythology it's like this movement that you see every, every Muslim yeah, yeah and some of it is, belongs to the, Orthodox, to the Greek Orthodox Church uh -huh, okay yeah uh -huh. so you see there's a, like a big church here also yeah and uh, many years ago, the, the people didn't want to live here. It was an, a very ch a poor Arab area uh -huh. okay, okay. many, many years ago. So the government made it a place for artists and yeah. clothes and people come in with a car. Okay. Uh -huh. You'll see there are all, all like studios and stuff. Oh, okay. Cool. It's I mean, what a great place for that. Yeah. yeah. Overlooking the sea. Yeah, yeah. So there are people living here with lots of place mm. for, for free. Like you can do a little viewpoint but looking the school place. In it, yeah, it's beautiful man. I'm not that familiar with the with the the Bible and the uh -huh. New Testament and all, but yeah. this is Saint Peter's. This is where you went to bed and woke up and something they killed him. I don't remember exactly. So here at Saint Peter's Monastery, 
Yeah, really well kept, majestic building. Uh, St. Peter's Church. Apparently a Roman Catholic church. And it gives a list of the masses. In different languages and different days. For those people planning to visit Jaffa. So Hamu continued for an hour or so, showing us around many, many of the great, beautiful, majestic places around Jaffa on what was a lovely day. Perfect blue sky, great temperature. So, after... Seeing as much as there is to see, she took us to what is apparently the best place in Tel Aviv for hummus. <laughs> Hamu is taking us to a local place here in the old town of Jaffa in uh, Tel Aviv, where they have apparently the best hummus in the whole of uh, Tel Aviv. So yeah, we're standing in a quiet long line here to wait to get in. Ah, hey, here's Hamu! <laughs> Say hi to the camera! <laughs> Ali Caravan restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> the best hummus in Tel Aviv. Best hummus in Tel Aviv, yeah. So uh, me and Kelvin are going to get a taste of it. And, uh, yeah. Quite hectic here in the kitchen. Yeah, they keep screaming, next order, next order. Yeah, they're working hard. They're working really hard, the guys. Bottle caps going all the way down, 7,000 of them apparently. And this wasn't the only quirky piece of artwork we've seen in Tel Aviv. So just remind me, what, what's the name of this market, Hamu? The flea market. This is just, flea market. What, does it have a specific name? Or? Jaffa Flea Market. Oh, Jaffa Flea Market, okay. <laughs> right, we're going to visit the uh, flea market here in uh, Jaffa. So today is Friday, but uh, in Israel, a Friday is uh, like a Saturday in uh, Sweden and many other countries in the Western world. So their weekend is actually Friday and Saturday and not Saturday, Sunday like, like we have it. So uh, yeah, you see lots of people are out meeting their friends, having uh, drinks and lunch, looking in the different shops. That's a real cool area. a cool area like it's a whole neighborhood uh, and they just have uh, flea markets everywhere cafes eateries live music well not live music but Bob Marley music one of our favorites So after a great day exploring around Jaffa and Tel Aviv, we are heading back to the car and we're going to go back to Herzliya. Have a reasonably early night and then tomorrow Hamu and her husband Nir are going to take us for a full day excursion to the Dead Sea and a few surrounding areas. So off I go on my early morning run, down to a local park about a kilometre away. Really nice park and within the park there were three different training areas. Here's the first one I come to where I just did a little bit of core work, some hip flexor work 
and a few sit up twists and then once it was finished there we jogged down to the next little workout area and in this next area I did a bit more core work and after that I did a few dips. Okay and dips, once I finished them I just finished with a bit of leg work, a few jumps and a bit of plyometric work. Then I jogged down to the next little workout area on the other side of the park. Here they had a few hydraulic machines. Some of them were rubbish but there was the pec deck that I liked so I did a bit of this. I also done some chins but for some reason the video didn't work on that. So I'm just jogging back now enjoying sunrise over Herzelia. And as you can see it's just a really nice civilised quaint place. Thank you.